Hello, and welcome to Ghost to Ghost, the paranormal podcast for people experiencing peculiar poltergeists. I'm your host with the most ghosts, Stephen McCormick. Today we're going to be discussing something that's become a more common theme amongst horror movies, but has really been a part of urban legends and spooky stories for decades, and that's the idea of ghost children. Ghost stories are already creepy, but the idea of ghost children is just very unsettling, most likely because we associate children with innocence and we don't want to think about the possibility that a child passed away at such a young age. And yet, ghost children are a huge part of local myths, and many people say that they experience hauntings from children. I sat down with one person who claims that a ghost child is haunting her house. With me today, I have Rachel Flurry, who has her own spooky ghost child story. Tell us what happened to you. Well, um, my sister is certainly convinced that we have a ghost in our house Mm -hmm. because uh, when we moved into the house, there was this one room that had locks on both the outsides of the doors and it was painted like a child's room and uh, there was scratch marks all over the walls and on the doors like someone was trying to escape. That is definitely not okay. Yeah, well, the the windows were sealed. When we moved into the house, it looked like the carpet had been ripped up in a hurry because there were pieces of it still on the walls and on the floor. So it was like <laughs> someone's just trying to ditch it. We, we ignored it. We were just like, this is a nice house. It's close to school. It'll be great. Well, um, as we live there longer, we keep getting these encounters from this ghost child but all this was going on in my sister's room so like i didn't care it's you know she heard like creepy scratching and stuff didn't bother me i was in the other room it's it's okay when the sibling experiences the haunting (laughs) but not when you experience the haunting yeah i don't do haunted stuff like i don't even watch horror movies so like i just kind of let her deal with it well she was gone for a couple of days in a row like like a whole week she was gone for a whole week And the ghost child came looking for her? How so? (laughs) It was at night. I had just laid down to go to sleep, and I was pretty close to it. I had, um, my sister had her dog with her, so it was just me, my dog, my cat. My cat was laying on my stomach, and my dog was laying next to me. Mm -hmm. And I kind of heard, like, this, like, noise outside, like someone was walking around. And, like, it spooked me back awake, but I didn't move, because I was like, it's probably just, like hearing stuff yeah well my bedroom door was closed and i heard knocking on the other side of it Uh. like (laughs) like it started out really soft and it was low on the door like it wasn't like someone was standing next to it It was like it was on the bottom half of the door knocking no No, child (laughs) child size i'm serious (laughs) no (laughs) but yeah when that happened i was like wide awake then I just kind of laid there and listened to this ghost child knock on my door for probably an hour. Yeah, I wouldn't be okay with that at all. Yeah, Uh, I wanted to make it absolutely clear that I was definitely asleep at that time because I did not want the ghost child coming in and asking me questions about where my sister went. But (laughs) I was wide awake. I was just (laughs) laying there petrified. And I was like, I really just want to message my sister and be like, come home. The ghost child misses you. But then I would have to move and the ghost child would know I was awake and ignoring them. There's no way to win. (laughs) Yeah, it was it was a lose lose situation for me. This episode of Ghost to Ghost is brought to you by Hasbro's Ouija Boards. Google can't find you all the answers. Try a seance instead. It's fun for the whole family. Hasbro Ouija Boards can be found at your local Target. Well, that's it for this episode of Ghost to Ghost. Tune in next week when we discuss haunted hospitals. If you want to be part of the conversation, follow us on Twitter at Ghost to Ghost or visit our website at ghosttoghost.com. Good night, and remember that sound you just heard in the basement wasn't your imagination. See you next time.